Hi guys. In this video we will learn about different languages used in programming of programmable logic controller, PLC. We know that PLC is a small industrial computer used to control, different electromechanical process for use in manufacturing plants, or other automation environments. PLC receive inputs at input module, execute program, or instructions written on its memory and then gives output to output module. But what is going on in a PLC? How PLC is performing actions? Actually, it is a saved program or instruction stored in its memory. On behalf of saved program, PLC executes instructions. These instructions are called programming and they are writing by a programmer. For programming, some different languages are used. Some of them are officially recognized by the IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, in the IEC 61131-3 standard. These languages are Ladder Diagram, LD Function Block Diagram, FBD Structured Text, ST Instruction list, IL. Sequential function chart, SFC. In this video, we'll give an overview of each of the five PLC programming languages. Ladder diagram, LD, or ladder logic. Ladder diagram is commonly referred to as ladder logic. Ladder logic is the most popular language of PLC programming because it is a symbolic programming language that resembles electrical schematic drawing. It was designed to replace hardwired relay control systems. Relay logic control was very difficult to design, troubleshoot and maintain. Only designer could maintain it easily, but for others it was difficult. For more information on PLC, see our videos What is a PLC? If you're a beginner then you should start with this language. Ladder diagram is built in the form of horizontal rungs with two vertical rails that represent the electrical connection on relay logic schematics. The rungs allow the programmer to watch, debug, and troubleshoot the logic. Ladder diagram is read from left to right and top to bottom. If the condition of all of the contacts on the left true the output coils energized. If you know the basic concept of digital fundamentals, then it is very easy to learn. If you don't know much, don't worry, stay here, we will give you the knowledge of digital fundamental. In ladder logic some basic symbols are used. Consider three symbols. Normally open. Normally close. Coil. Basic programming starts with these symbols. Consider this example. We have two push buttons. When you press any buttons, light will turn on. In second example, when you press single buttons, light will not on. For light to be on, you have to press both buttons. Detail of ladder logic, see our future video, what is ladder logic? Function block diagram, FBD. The second most popular PLC programming language is called function block diagram, FBD. In this language blocks are used for programming. These programming blocks are connected together to create a program. Function blocks is best suited for a system that have many of the common and repeatable tasks. You program the blocks onto sheets and then the PLC constantly scans the sheets in numerical order or is determined by connections which you program between the blocks. The function block diagram does work well with motion controls. The visual method is easier for some users. The advantages of function block diagrams are that they're very easy to follow and understand. They are generally laid out to mimic a specific process thus making it easy to understand for those who don't have a background in PLC programming. Structured text, ST. Structured text a textual based language. For complex task, Experts prefer structured text language. You must write out each line of code and it uses functions such as for, while, if, else, else if and case. 
Since structured text is similar to traditional high-level programming languages, it can be fairly easy for many people who may not have a background in PLC programming but have experience in traditional coding to learn and develop PLC projects. If you know the concept of high-level programming languages like PHP, Python, and C, then structured text is a good idea for you. Best suited for mathematical or complex programs. It also executes faster and requires less space. And the flow slash logic will be easier to read and understand. You can, for example, scale a PLC analog input or output with just one line of code or set an alarm for your SCADA system solution. Since it is text-based, you can write your project in a simple text file and copy and paste it into your PLC project when you are ready. Instruction list, IL. It is also a textual based language. It consists of many lines of code, with a single instruction per line. It's read top to bottom and left to right. Instruction list is very straightforward to read because each line is executed sequentially. Instruction list was one of the first PLC programming languages, along with ladder logic. The instruction list language is considered a low-level language, meaning it is very close to machine code. Instructions consist of operators, operands, and modifiers, using mnemonics for the operators, for example, LDA, load A, and B, and B. STQ, store result in Q. It is best suited for applications that need code that is compact and time critical. Sequential function chart, SFC. If you have any experience with flowcharts, then this PLC programming language will feel familiar to you. In sequential function charts, you use steps and transitions to achieve your end results. Steps act as a major function in your program. These steps house the actions that occur when you program them to happen. This decision can be based on timing, a certain phase of the process, or a physical state of an equipment. Transitions are the instructions that you use to move from one step to another step by setting conditions of true or false. Unlike traditional flow charts, the sequential function charts can have multiple paths. You can use branches to initiate multiple steps at one time. The advantage of using the sequential function chart is that you can break large processes into major steps. It can be faster to design and write the logic due to the ability to use repeated executions of individual pieces of logic. So guys. This is a basic overview of PLC programming languages. For detail, subscribe our channel. Follow us on YouTube, to see our future videos. Thanks for watching.